Okay, so um, hi everyone. So um, I have a few announcements, uh, mostly around what is happening now in search uh, engine group and what we want probably to do next uh, days, next week, for sure. Um, uh, the, the status of V19 uh, annotated uh, called 19 data sets. Uh, yesterday I tried to upload this to uh, Dataverse. I chance just to do it a couple of pieces because I had a pro uh, hard time uh, uploading the stuff. The, pi like the, the, the process uh, in Dataverse uh, broke a couple of times. So I'm doing this now like uh, mm. almost two, three uh, pieces each time. So, and today I, I, I wasn't here, so I, 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 I couldn't mm. do it. Uh, yeah, and uh, what is the size of your pieces? Like 600 uh, megabytes? Yeah, 600 megabytes. It's, it's like one. Just, I think you, what you did, you tried to upload like uh, 50 pieces in the same time. Uh, no, at the beginning, that that was like I I I just uh, marked the whole list, and yeah. I want to do it, and yeah. that's why so you broke basically it. Basically, the whole data was uh, was busy with uh, yeah. all. And, and now what I'm doing is just I'm I mark what, like a couple of pieces, mark two, three, something like that. Yeah. And I'm letting this go, and and it works, but okay. it means that I need to sit the whole day at the computer. No, 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 you, you can just do it uh, basically automatically. Automatically, there is a Python process that you can just start and upload all files. Okay, in I, uh, Okay, I didn't know. I mean, uh, then could, could you share the link to this process or, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so, so it's basically, I think in, in our guideline, uh, it's already uh, okay. from the beginning, right, Anton? Okay, good, yeah. I, I didn't know. Well, okay, so. so Three video and uh, some uh, examples. Oh, that Python. one. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll send. I'll send that. Yeah, I, I, I think I have now like fifty percent already uploaded, and mm -hmm. uh, if it's a uh, if to everyone who just wants to take a look at those data, they already in DataVerse, so you you can just pick up one zip piece, mm -hmm. uh, unzip uh, unzip it, and you can play around uh, with it. Uh, okay, like. so it's already public, right? Yeah, it, I, I published this. So this is like oh. version something. Uh, wait, let me. I see it, yes, I see it. It's like 20 something, 24. 21. 10, 20. Yeah, 21 pieces. And it's in, uh, altogether is something like 40, I think. 40, okay, so it's 50. Uh, 36, so even more. Like it's more than 50% uh, uploaded. Okay, uh, nice. So. Nice. So basically, uh, basically what we need now, uh, we need uh, also to create a process and I think I have some volunteers to do that and to upload uh, automatically all these um, pieces to um, Elastic and Mongo. Yeah, Elastic, uh, that's mm -hmm. indeed. I also, there was something that I, I, I propose also to discuss today uh, mm -hmm. with people. Uh, actually, how we what we are going to do now with those uh, data data set with this data? Uh, we just need to update in in uh, Elastic and Mongo and uh, share with people, so they will use more or less like late, latest version. Yeah, and the, Not the latest, question about fresh version of yeah. Uh, the the question is also what we precisely upload to Elastic search, like lemmas or tokens because uh no we, we already have process basically uh so me and uh, brandon we did we, we created this process i think in in, in the middle of april or something so could you tell what kind of data like what kind of tags are going in uh, going no, no, it's, um, it's uh, uh, already in, in uh, Elastic, but I think le uh, version 12 or something. Let me check. Okay. Previous one. So we just need to create uh, version 19 and uh, yep. to get it okay. up to date. Yeah. So uh, of course, it requires time. And yeah. Some, yeah. Some. I mean, yeah. That, uh, yeah. So okay. there is uh, V9 sentences I see index and. Uh, it's indexed on sentences with all lemmas and UMLS and uh, 
uh, V2V vector and uh, what else? Yeah, so basically that's it. So we have to update it. And another part V, uh, uh, what else? Oh yeah, so we have V22 papers. So have you seen that? So we have all papers index in Mongo and uh, in Elastic also. Okay. So yeah, I think and, that- uh, And what, what is the latest version? How much documents we have? 150,000 or something? No, like this V19 is something like 60. No, 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 I know about V19, but, but uh, current status, uh, because now they're kind of updating every yeah. two days or something. I and don't know. Do you know, do, do you know something about? It? So they, they update it pretty much every day. Oh, every day. So nice. it's like, so it's rolling release. Usually it's like seven, like I was checking that recent change log. Usually it's like 500, 700 papers in, maybe like 50, 100 out. Okay. So it's it's kind of like this incremental ones. Yeah. So it's not big chunks as before, like mm. 20,000 plus or something. It's relatively small, but you know, it's still there and it's every day happens. Yeah, I was in a panel, panel discussion with a uh, representative from uh, natural, uh, National Health Institutes and basically they're responsible for this core 19. They're providing <laughs> all these papers to uh, Alien AI. And uh, uh, they promised that uh, they'll get even more papers okay. very soon. So Lucas, we, we need to think how to implement Delta process as soon as I mean, possible. yeah, Delta is on, on my agenda <laughs> as that uh, <laughs> uh, the extra documentation, how JSON file looks like, how you can browse it plus Delta because it's most important so that we can start uh, with this V something uh, at any time, like uh, depending and also like to make it modular. I mean, like everything that we talked two days ago, mm -hmm. uh, I have on my agenda just I need time. I mean, like some free time just to sit down and, and code. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's on my priority at least. So, uh, oh, okay, good. Uh, the, uh, okay, the just to stick to the like so so called agenda. Uh, Okay, so Elasticsearch, whoosh, okay, it's the same story. And I also, and my proposal, I, I, I think I repeated this idea a couple of times across different talks, was actually that uh, semantic search for some thousands of docs, it doesn't make sense because like, uh, to average all uh, sentence vectors across uh, longer documents doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And what we, will make sense is just to have an Elasticsearch within each doc, uh, so that we can pick up the most uh, uh, relevant sentence within a document. This is what we already, uh, Lukas, uh, we already have this, version 22. All documents uh, got indexed and uh, I will put a link in chat. Okay. So. Yeah, that, 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 that's why I mean like with semantic search, but mm -hmm. in the comp like with pre-filtering based on elastic search or whoosh yeah, or yeah and i understand it's there is like like external modules uh, should be installed on elastic and you will get semantic search i understand that uh, oh, sorry yes. uh, okay that okay that then we can talk about later in detail uh, uh later on i mean like on slack but okay so I, i've just shared the link on on all papers yeah, but uh, now you don't have vectors in Vin 22. No, no, no. So this is something where we should also upload. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good. I, I'm just I, I wanted to mention that like to make it clear that it's like it's not like search engine as such, but it will be probably a set of search tools somehow mm -hmm. uh, con connect to each other in some smart way. Uh, yeah, 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 I know. Uh, this is exactly what I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so not like search engines, like magical script doing everything because it's like, mm -hmm. it won't work. I mean, that, that, that doesn't make even sense. Yeah, uh, I, I think Alex, uh, now he's coming back to community and uh, he had a talk with you about building semantic search, right? Yeah. So uh, we, there is some, some work for him. Yeah, we talked uh, the, uh, yesterday 
uh, we had a short call just to reintroduce uh, him, uh, mm -hmm. to brief him on, on everything that uh, has been happening here. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, and I, I forwarded him to you because like next days, like for now, there's nothing, com there's no common action we can take together. I need just to provide things that to finish like V19. And uh, yeah. in this time uh, when uh, he wants, he can do something about those external data sets mm -hmm. uh, uh, because you have a plenty of work. I mean, like you, you can give already something to do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, I was very busy this week with all these preparations so I'm told. Yeah. So now I will get more time to do. Uh, good. Uh, so yes, yeah, so so this idea. Okay, so it's like a semantic, like search engine as a set of tools. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, and uh, I just forgot to mention uh, another important thing. So, uh, Charlie already shared uh, uh, the list of control vocabularies from a biological expression language, and uh, we are now basically uh, getting everything indexed in in same elastic search instance. Okay. So you can search over all synonyms, and my idea actually is to get uh in in uh, this nlp pipeline is to get uh, a linkage process to bell yeah just, just to get everything uh, basically linked into knowledge graph yeah so uh if some people are interested in this task please contact me and just send a direct message and i will explain what to do and uh, yeah uh, that's exactly uh yeah, I mean, well, uh, because we already talked earlier about how we can connect to Bell, yeah. and I think it's high now. Once we have the data, I mean, like the uh, this standardized Corona Y annotation type. Mm -hmm. uh, now is like the highest time to like to somehow to organize maybe meetings or to invite people from working on Bell mm -hmm. to those meetings or vice versa, depending on how. Uh, it's an organizational uh, question, but yeah. just we need to talk together because not, otherwise it's like a, a bit of echo chamber. Uh, we want something from Bell, they want something from Court 19. It's like... Uh, no, no, but we, this is very uh, valid discussion because uh, like, like yesterday at the Harvard conference uh, in the panel, we actually discussed what kind of ontologies we should use and... Uh, well, I came with the idea to uh, link everything to Bell because we have Charlie and he's one of the maintainers. So mm -hmm. I think it's a good starting point. And uh, if we'll get some, some more uh, anthologies, uh, we should do exactly the same to, to get people basically talking their own language <laughs> yeah. and uh, uh. to get to, to uh, actually to share uh, what we already have and to uh, facilitate this collaboration. Yeah. I mean, like so, the, the thing that will, for me, technically speaking, what will be interesting is how we can connect these different synonyms mm -hmm. to very specific, uh, like logical based uh, formula of Bell. Uh, like something makes something else with, like object A makes something, makes has a relation Epsilon with uh, uh, object B or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but, but uh, this is exactly the problem now because all relations, uh, we are actually automatically, uh, manually an annotated. So there is no uh, automatic process that can do that. And uh, this is a challenge if we can build um, some machine learning model. Yeah, exactly. To that. Yeah, so to make it like some I can, uh, recogn uh, synonym recognition or, or uh, kind of uh, uh, like not language model per se, but something like what to vec connected with some uh, context and uh, recognition. I, yeah, I, I just I'm throwing out some some general idea, uh, mm -hmm. how, but yeah. Uh, it would be nice after we'll manage to uh, actually to get this knowledge graph to, to put it in, in uh, Virtuoso or in GraphQL and try to get some, some uh, well, visualize some, some relations and to see what, what we can do further and yeah. to show to researchers all these sequences so, and other stuff. So Ch Charlie has the like a really nice laid down document of kind of 
he, his roadmap essentially what he's doing with mm -hmm. Bell yes. and what he plans to do within CoronaWire with Bell. Yeah, he has so, with, with different use cases described already. Yes. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, Lukas, if you mm -hmm. haven't seen it, I'll need to find it somewhere. So, have you seen it or no, Lukas? Uh, no. No. Okay. So, I, I'll find it. I'll share it with you because I'm not sure it was in some, not, not some private channel. Yeah. So from Charlie, there is like a good roadmap. So we could kind of mm -hmm. look at it and just to see at what point in time we, so where we do, we need to have this touch points. Also task uh, VT immunology team, also all the way using Bell, et cetera, building their own knowledge graph. And they have uh, what it's called. They already start using frown both for some some like manually built that knowledge graph. Yeah, so yeah. So that, is, yeah, this is what I mean. So there is some, some yeah. uh, manually created knowledge graph. This whole relationship. Yeah, from Bauer from or something. Yeah, but from, anyway, so from German German company. Yeah. So uh, in a sense, we have task VT monology team working on this regards to kind of like running those experiments, mm -hmm. right? So we also need, I mean, I will definitely keep an eye on them, what's, what's going on there. So at some point we just, again, integrate whatever they did, like their use case. Mm -hmm. um, another, another point, uh, Isaac's team, like patient forecasting, they start using, like Kevin Lee start using Airflow. So it's right, the, the framework to connect all of these different pieces for processing pipelines. So they already start playing with it and they will be essentially a test mule to kind of how to to set up it's you know the most convenient way for people to use so we're also kind of having we'll have some input on uh, how to do it properly within search engine team over here as well mm -hmm. oh. so a lot of integration work ahead <laughs> that's what i'm yeah. telling you guys <laughs> so yeah okay good um do we have any questions uh or answers to uh, unasked questions oh yeah and uh no it's not a question but but uh like no. in of our, I, I will join uh, another session at harvard conference and uh, there is a guy from you peter hub and binder binder uh -huh. and uh, oh binder nice yeah so <laughs> They're going to share experience how actually to to connect things with Dataverse. So this is basically our topic, and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah if we'll have, if we'll be able to make a binder within Dataverse. I mean, it's all data set that coronavirus talk. That will be like uh, it'll be awesome. Yeah. So so it seems that this integration uh, already started somewhere. So I have to uh, learn about that, and probably we, we can actually um, create our own integration in this case. Mm -hmm. uh, good. Uh, okay. Uh, another announcement or message to for everyone watching this uh, video. No, oh, there is also someone from Stanford Research Computing Center. We talk about singularity. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Containers for scientific compute, which is also interesting. Okay, so I think, uh, well, f f I will have something for Saturday. Okay. <laughs> something interesting. <laughs> Good. Uh, so, yeah, I think we can finish for today. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, like, more or less, I think we know what to do. Uh, just, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I think we, we can finish. Uh, mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Um, I'm going to upload this now for on uh, on YouTube and yeah, and next meeting uh, at the weekend on yeah. Saturday. Saturday, yeah. Uh, half past uh, 10 PST mm -hmm. or seven in Europe. Uh, so yes, once again, thank you very much. And we we'll see uh, each other uh, in two days. Okay. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.